new sheet here. Our new sheet will show only the combined data. For example, uh, let's uh, let's take the um, our customers. That's so much. I think first of all we want to compare the actual orders and forecast and see the percentage between each of them by region okay and let's say i want to do it by state as well and my data here is mm, total sales amount so i have the question mark here exclamation exclamation mark exclamation so I will go to my source data and check why we have this field. I need to delete it. I don't need it because I, I already included the forecast in my total sales amount. Okay, so this is the actual orders. This is our uh, forecast. And we want to know the percentage between the forecast the difference and the percentage between the forecast and the actual orders so what we need to do here is to create a calculated field by right click on this space or by using this small down arrow and right uh, press on create calculated field so the calculated field name is the forecast minus actual as actual let's say so what we are, we are going to do is if we did actual let's say data set yeah sorry for that uh, now if we want to to do this Okay, we will. We don't have only. We only have one column to do that, which is the total sales amount. Okay, and we cannot deduct total sales amount from total sales amount. Correct. It will become zero. So, if we added this to the text, it's it's zero. There's no point here. But what we are going to do to be able to deduct actual orders minus forecast or forecast minus actual orders is we need to create a field or measure values with actual orders only alone like it's a new uh, column for example you can imagine as it's a, a new column with actual orders and another column with actual sales So if we want to do that, we need to right click and create calculated field and name it as actual orders one. We can say that if our data set, data set which is already here, the actual orders and forecast, which is in, in the first column in our uh, data source, if data set is equal to actual orders, then we can ask Tableau to uh, give us the value of total sales amount. Else, give me zero. So here Tableau will create, oh, sorry, and also. Here, Tableau will create a new column with the title of actual order one and will give me the sales amount for each row only. It will give me only for the actual orders. After I press OK, 
I have my actual orders here. So I can remove this one, the total quantity, and I can add total or actual orders here. Okay, you can see the forecast is zero. And now I need to create another field, which is the forecast one, and I will tell Tableau if the data set is equal to forecast, then please give me the total sale amount, else give me zero end. So here Tableau also will give me the forecast quantities only. I press OK, then I will include this data here. So I will remove the some of the points here. Okay. So so I have here the actual orders, and here only the forecast orders. Okay. After that, I will again add the states. Now I can create a new calculated field and say I want to deduct the forecast or let's say I want the percentage of actual orders divided by the forecast. Okay. So here if I put actual orders by forecast, Tableau will give me a wrong data. Why? Let's see why. So let's take this one and add it here. Okay. Tableau will give me only zeros. Why? Because Tableau is taking the total, all the orders for the actual and all the orders of the forecast. So to make sure this is what is Tableau doing, so we need to format. Let's change the format to percentage. So it's again 0%, which means Tableau is not taking the correct data. It's taking the row and the same row and divided by each other. So in order to make sure Tableau is working correctly, we need to take the summation of actual orders to aggregate and take the summation of actual orders and divide it by the summation of forecast. So let's see here, close brackets, and here also close brackets. Then we press OK. After that, everything goes wrong. <laughs> So what happened here? Okay, for that small pause, I was able to know what's going on with Tableau here. So I think there's something wrong with Tableau because the formula is 100% correct. But if you, if anyone, anybody knows that, uh, if it's incorrect or anything else I did wrong here, please let me know in the comments below. So we took the summation for each um, column, actual orders one, each calculated field, divide by the calculated field forecast, the summation of the forecast. So what I will do here is I'm gonna delete this one or I, I will keep it for you guys to see the comparison. So I will create a new also calculated field with the aggregation of the actual orders. Orders aggregation, I will sum the actual orders. Okay, this will be my new column, the aggregation. And I will add another column also for the forecast. 
and we will do the same for here. I will take forecast one, which is the, because I only need forecast. I don't need um, anything else. Okay, so I took it here. Then what we are going to do here is we will write the actual aggregation divided by the forecast aggregation. Since we did that, actually it's the same as this one, but I'm not sure what is wrong with Tableau, why it's not doing it. So I will remove that and keep this formula and press OK. After that, I will take, drag this, this aggregation division percentage of actual over the forecast. I will drag it to our table here. Then we can see that it shows uh, one, but because it shows one because the formatting is uh, it's general or a number. Okay. So what I'm going going to do is I'm going to go to my measure values shelf and press on the drop down list here and choose the formatting. Then from the pane side, I will choose percentage. Here we go, we have the percentage for each forecast. Actually, it's pretty bad because most of the forecast should be over 75 to 80% uh, usually, but because this data was generated uh, randomly and uh, we couldn't have exact numbers like logical numbers that we can uh, use. That's it for today. I'm really sorry for the pausing so much, so many times. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons.